Yes. There's 10 to 12 million human beings who are in this country who are undocumented, which these young people address. Um, I consider them victims. That they're here basically to earn a living to survive. They're not here to take some of these jobs. <laughs> and well, forces that? outside of their own to oh, put them here, such as U.S. trade policy, such as NAFTA, other things that the U.S. said is dealt with. Uh, you may consider that they're, they've, they've done something illegal. However, they've done something for their children to survive. And I think anything that we can do to quicken the policy of uh, bringing those folks in as citizens that we need to do. And in the meantime, the enforcement has been stepped up. People are living in fear. There are more and more raids. Senator, I would ask that you talk to the Obama administration about a moratorium on deportation until you solve this problem, because it's not fair to those people and to those families that they're part of. And believe me, there are a lot more people who are here who are connected to people who are undocumented than the undocumented themselves. Thank you. Thank you for your comments. These are three issues that we're going to debate on immigration, but I appreciate your comment about the trade agreement. Because I'm the only one of your federal representatives in Washington who voted against NAFTA, voted against NAFTA. That's true. Yeah. I remember how people really voted. That's true. I voted against Harvard, and I voted against the trade deals. Other people voted for them. Yeah. Mary Hill 